Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah ta'ala la yumhilu al-zalim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes allows some leeway to the zalim. La yumhil means gives him some time. He lets him go. Fa'idha akhadahu. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds on to him. This is what Surah Al-Buruj said. Inna batusha rabbika la shadeed. Batsh in Arabic means the grasp. Of course it means here the power of Allah. Inna batusha rabbika la shadeed. When Allah wants to grasp. When Allah wants to take his hand and take the volume who can possibly be safe from that our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah might give laxity to the volume for a period of time but when he holds on to him not if when faida it's not a possibility it's not a maybe no when the volume is hold and held account he will never let him go. Lam yuflitu. Never going to be able to escape the grasp. And this is exactly what I recited in the first verse, in the first rak'ah as well. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and this was revealed when the Muslims were being persecuted, and the Muslims were being killed, and they saw with their own eyes Sahaba being torn apart, Ammar and Sumayya being killed in front of their eyes, Bilal being dragged in the streets of Mecca. When they were seeing this, what did Allah reveal? Surah Ibrahim, I recited, it is a Makki surah, middle Makkan surah, when the adab was at its pinnacle. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا Don't ever think that Allah is not aware of what the volume is doing. This ayah was revealed in the context of adab, in the context of persecution, in the context of death and fitna and fasad. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ Never ever think that Allah is not aware of what the Zalim do. Innama yu'akhiruhum. Allah is letting them. Allah is going to take care of them. But maybe not in your time frame. But Allah has a time frame. And if this dunya we see it, alhamdulillah. If we don't see it in this dunya, then for sure, liyawm al-hisab. For sure on the day of judgment. Muhti'ina, muqun'i ru'usihim. La yartaddu ilayhim tarfuhum. Wa afidatuhum sawa. Go read the tafsir of these verses. End of Surah Ibrahim. Allah describes the terrified state of the Zalimun. Their eyes are glazed. Their hearts hearts are empty, their chests are in the throat, they're looking in panic, they don't know what to do. The vivid imagery that is given is for the zalim. مُهْطِعِينَ مُقْنِعِ رُؤُسِهِمْ لَا يَرْتَدُّ إِلَيْمْ طَرْفُ وَأَفْئِدَتُهُمْ سَوَى And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, how could you have done this? You lived in this world and you saw the fate of those before you. Didn't you pay attention? Allah spoke to the Quraysh, you were here. وَسَكَنْتُمْ فِي مَسَاكِنِ اللِّينَ ظَلَبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ وَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ كَيْفَ فَعَلْنَا بِهِمْ You saw what happened to those people. Why didn't you pay attention? And as for this particular qawm, they don't even need to see outside of their own qawm to see what happens to tyrants and what happens to those who reject Allah. They don't even need to look at outside history. Their own history is enough of a lesson if they only benefited and learn. But they have turned a blind eye. And they have done to innocence what others did to them at a time when they might have been innocent. And they have taken on the tactics and the kibr and the brutality of the very people whom they said never 